do you think, huh? I think it's pretty cool. I put that little edit together uh, this morning and I even recorded that audio. It's like a song I'm working on now. I decided to throw it in there. But I was looking back at the videos and I was like, something's missing. Decided that we need like an opening bumper video to start every video. So this is gonna work for now. If you guys wanna change or something, well, that's too bad. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Anyways, Bib and Ken, I love you. That sounds weird. He gave us some amazing details, which if you were watching the last episode, you'll know the Goblin Tinker just stole our entire life savings, our college fund, everything that we need, our entire will is gone. We need more money, and he gave us the information that if you put him um, underground, and if you put him next to the character that he likes, he becomes happier, which decreases his price, which is incredible. If you haven't watched the last episode, I highly recommend you go do that, because we killed the Wall of Flesh. It was pretty cool. And after further research, I have discovered based on the majority of your comments that we are now in what is called hard mode so we got more mobs more loot more goodies it's just gonna get even more chaotic who knew that could happen in Terraria so let's see if we go to oh yep happiness goblins don't normally need n wait hold up I got a good goblin accent goblins don't normally need nice homes but I'm not the most goblins perfect the lack of annoying neighbors adequately meets my needs interesting so he's not telling us where he needs to go. The information on this comment says that he wants to go underground and next to is the mechanic. So with that being said, we're going to the cavern lair. These are new. These are definitely new. There's no way these things have that much health before. And this is also new too. So if you watched the last episode, you will also know that we have been breaking crimson altars, which spawns in new ore in the world. And I'm pretty sure this is it because I've never seen this orange ore before. Yeah, palladium is definitely new. These are all new mobs. That was a giant cave bat. I've never seen those before. And to be completely honest, I don't even know what the next boss is. So I guess this new ore is amazing because now we can upgrade all of our equipment, which is a great next step. I believe we're now in the cavern layer. I think this dirt background is all underground. And then cavern layer is down here, I'd assume. So we're just going to make these two houses into buildings. I don't see why that wouldn't work. And that's a new ore too. That one's like blue. That one's pretty. No... Okay, so palladium we can mine, but that we cannot. I don't know what that ore is. Whoa. See, we've never had that before. They're all dropping new stuff. There we go. So now they should move in soon. Uh, they should be happy living next to each other, and that's a new guy too. Wait, wait, that's the skeleton we were trying to interact with before that fell into the lava. Oh, this could be really good. He could have a whole bunch of good stuff. I request an audience with you. Yes, a wand of sparkling. That's the first weapon we ever found. Why is he selling this? Strange brew. Side effects may include unpredictable healing, inconsistent potion sickness, brief periods of inexplainable invulnerability. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, elder slime. Awesome. That is not the thing that we wanted. Glow sticks, torches, wooden arrows. I'm going to start buying this stuff just because we have the money and it's a material and it's equipable, which means it is something that we are interested in. So I will buy this counterweight. It's also material. We're going to buy the yo-yo glove too. We have the money. Why not? We have the money. I keep saying that. I'm pretty sure that we're poor. Uh, palladium bar. Here we go. Let's see what we can make with all this. This armor's awesome. Now, the only thing that I'm going to get is the pickaxe, and the reason is because I want to mine the next better ore. I don't want to make a whole set of armor if it's not going to be as good. Chainsaw. A reaper? All this stuff is insane. Okay, so both of these say that they can mine mithril and ore it chalcum. I don't know what the difference is between the drill and the pickaxe. They have the same pickaxe power. One of them is very fast speed and one is fast speed. But it's a bit shorter. I think we're going to go with the drill because it's faster. I, I'm choosing fast. Awesome. New pickaxe acquired. All right, guys. We got some things we need to craft here. We can make that right now. What do we make of the spider fang? There's a bunch you can make. Boom, GPS, yo-yo bag. Gives the user mastery yo-yo skills. Is that yo-yo we just bought, by the way? So I don't know how good this this set is altogether. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, now that we got the palladium drill, let's see what we can mine with it. See, now we got all the info right here on the right. All right, can we mine this blue stuff? We can, yes. What does this thing think it's doing on this map, bruh? Icor, we'll take it. Oh no, there's so many new mobs. Soul of Night the essence of dark creatures we've needed that for a few things i don't remember what they were though there's so much good loot what is that blue dude you are not fitting in you look like a flower whoa, 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 whoa. hold the phone what is this there's another ore we can mine oh man i'm assuming we make the mithril pickaxe and then we can use that pickaxe and mine that stuff mithril anvil used to craft items from mithril or a chalcum ademo 
What? It looks like we're gonna need one of those bad boys. All right, guys, what are we making with these things? Demon wings. Those sound crazy. Key of knights. What do you What do you use a key of knight for? I mean, wings sound crazy. I know there's wings in this game where you can like fly for a really long time. That sounds incredible. There's a mithril helmet, hat, and hood which all do different things. The helmet has way more defense, but it's mostly used for the melee, which this is for range, so like arrows and guns, and this is for if you're mana, which obviously, you know me, we're going with the helmet. Thank you for saving me, friend. The punches were starting to shave. I don't know what that means. Crystal ball can be placed. That's all it does. Bell, it's a material. Harp, also material. Spell tome. All this stuff is uh, really confusing. I would like to buy your finest goodies, sir. Why not? Mithril drill. All right, guys, what do we make with all this stuff? The only thing we can make with a bell is a fairy bell, which summons a magical fairy. What do we do with a spell tome? Crystal storm, cursed flames, and golden shower. All of which do not sound that good. Oh, wow, we can make a lot with a book, though. Nope, they're all just bookshelves. Never mind. Well, the crystal ball can be used for special crafting, so I guess that's important. The rest of this stuff is all pretty lame. All right, here's the plan. Mining potion to increase mining speed and splunker potion, which shows the location of treasure and ore. This is how we're going to get all of this ore. The reason why we're going to harbor as much of this ore as we can is because with the ores before, all we needed was the pickaxe and then we can mine the next best ore. Now that we have the best ore, as far as we know, we can get a full set of it for great armor. Another meteorite just landed. How many do we have to find? Okay, so Practex Simpler. You guys have crazy hard names to pronounce. Give me a pro tip on using a quick buff, which is by pressing B. So with that being said, let's go ahead and... Oh, that's incredible. Vitamins, immunity to weakness. Awesome, so many goodies. What the? There's an axe flying at me. Here we go, this is what I'm looking for. Titanium, baby. Rune wizard? You need to go, sir. I know you're gonna drop some goodies. He just dropped a full on uniform. Yes, my dreams are all coming true. And I have like this yellow contrail too. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. What the? That just just came to life, bro. What? 30 golds? Wait, how far away were we? That dude's about to die. He was about to die. Oh, he's probably gonna drop something good. We're definitely going back. I really hope he died and dropped something immaculate. Okay, well, he didn't drop anything, it looks like. Now I gotta be scared of all these chests again. Oh, mushroom top. We look like Toad. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy's got a bunch of new goodies. None of these were here before. Did the shops change too? Is is that why? I think they did. I think everyone's shops got upgraded. Ammo box, we want that. Shotgun, we'll take that. Illegal gun parts, 20 gold. Why not? There's a whole bunch of weird stuff going on. Let's buy that lens. The ruler. Why? What? I only bought those because they're materials, but it looks like they're already doing something. Guide, help. What do we do with all this stuff? We can mix all this techie, whack, nerdy stuff. No way, the grand design allows ultimate control over wires. There's a lot of whack stuff going on right now. Hey, guide, asking for a friend, I swear, what do we do with all this uh, illegal gun stuff? I don't know where Souls of Might are, because we found Souls of Fright, I think? Ammo box, which reduces um, rounds used. There's so much going on. This is so confusing. We need to make a titanium forge? What in the future is this? Titanium bars. Golly. We're going with the masks. We want melee. 23 defense on the helmet alone. Our entire defense is 38. There's the mask. Here's the chest plate. There are the leggings. Definitely need more titanium. Anyways, I'm gonna equip this gear now. Let's let's see what this looks like. 62 defense. Look at how cool that looks. It doesn't look too, too cool, so I'm gonna throw the wizard gear back on. Set bonus is attacking generates a defensive barrier of titanium shards. This is getting so intense. I don't see how we could lose now. How, how can we be killed at this point? Whoa. Oh, this is that effect. Look at how cool that is. It almost feels like we're too overpowered. Like, we should not be trusted with this good of equipment. What in tarnation is this? We need crystal shards. I don't remember what we need them for, but we need them. Oh! Oh no, it's one of those giant chests. Oh! Stay back. We are so dead. We are so dead. Come on, if we kill this thing, he's gonna drop such good loot. I know it. What the? Oh no. Yes! Oh my, was that a boss fight or what was that? Shoots arrows from the sky? Look at these potions, they're huge. Oh, we just got souls of light. Yes, okay, sweet. We've been looking for those. The blood moon is rising. Oh, maybe a blood moon changed. All right, I'd say mission accomplished right there. What the? 
What the? I'm blocking the door with um, titanium ore. That's so funny. It worked. Can I just sleep through this? Uh, I don't want to do this no more. Okay, so we got the time there. Let's see if it actually goes faster. It doesn't look like it goes any faster. Titanium drill. Boom. For now, I'm not going to make any of this. I'll make the axe. No, Spetch. He's falling all the way down. I really want to get wings. I don't know where to get Soul of Flight, though. Oh, we can make the phase bar. I forgot about that. Boom, white phase bar. Okay, this is kind of crazy. We're sticking with the Knight's Edge, though. Let's try out the Storm Bow. Oh, no way. Gelatin Crystal. Summons the Queen Slime? There's a Queen Slime? How do we utilize this? Does it have to be dark out, I'm assuming? What the? Oh, hell no. This thing's got so much health. I know you're dropping something valuable. You know, we're trying out the Storm Bow. Why not? Oh, man, that destroyed. <gasps> Souls of Flight. We can make those wings. Hold up, we could actually make wings, I think. What was that? He's got an arrow in him. Bro, where are you going? Clumsy balloon slime. Oh! No. Are you okay, slime? These things are so weird. We can make angel wings. Definitely, that'd be an easy one to make. We need a few more souls of flight. Is that one? I swear that's one of those dragons right there. He's in the background. How do we get him to spawn in, like, here? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's gonna get destroyed. There we go. You know what, wait, it's dark. Let's see if we can spawn in the queen slime. No? Maybe we have to be in the respective biome. We found these things in that, like, rainbow biome. So maybe we go there. Just like how the brain of Cthulhu has to be spawned in the crimson biome. I think it works the same way. Right, let's give it a try. Let's see. Oh, it, it worked. Where is she? Oh, okay. But she ain't even that good. There's just so much going on. Oh, man, she's fine. What? The what is happening? Oh man, she's a lot stronger than we thought she was. But when it comes to a force truly evil, the evil of all evil in the underworld, so this giant wall of bone, skin, mouths, eyes, we get we can just easily take that out. When it comes to a pink ball of slime with wings and a princess crown, we um we don't do too good. Anyways, we need a few more souls of light and then we can make these wings. Angel wings. No way, this is our first set of wings. This just goes to show how overpowered the, the mobs are now. Oh, that is so overpowered. And we can, like, glide. Oh, no way. That is so cool. The only thing is that it's not using our um, boots anymore. It, it doesn't uh, give us that flight ability, which I guess we don't really need. Ooh, I wonder if the pickaxe we have now is strong enough to dig through the temple in the jungle? Let's find out. No way. What is this? That, that's a new ore right there. It's green. How are we supposed to dig that? No, it was bound to happen at some point. <laughs> I don't even remember why we came to the jungle. Okay, looks like we can speed up time only when an event is not going on, which makes sense. Otherwise, you'd just be skipping a blood moon every night. Orange Zappinator. 111 magic damage. Hold up. This is like the same one as the white one, but it does way more damage. It's like really slow, though. No, that's doo-doo. Alright, so I'm sitting here thinking of what there is to do, and I suddenly remembered a build that I used to do in my other Terraria world a long time back, where you may have noticed that in a few episodes, there were certain points where there were statues with mobs, and every time you'd step on the pressure plate, it'd like activate and spawn one of those mobs in. And this is why I've been collecting statues, because we're gonna make a giant mob grinder. So essentially, I want this entire area to be filled with those statues, which will all be connected to wires. It'll activate, allowing all those mobs to spawn in, fall into like lava, get grinded it up and then just die making us infinite loot and money which i think would be awesome so the goal is that it'll look something like this now of course you're dreaming and this is just a figment of your imagination so i'm going to show you a really cool time lapse of me building this thing <laughs> What? Why, why is it interrupting the, the time lapse right now? You can't do this. What does that mean? What's a terrible night supposed to mean? <laughs> no. Sapinator. Sapinator. This thing is not good. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, that, that was a pretty terrible night. I can't lie. Just when we thought we were powerful, two eyes appear out of nowhere. Why is every boss going to have huge eyes? Anyways, back to the time lapse. <laughs>
So I'm curious to see if this is actually going to work. It's a pretty cool set of gizmos I set up. I kind of came back to me as I was building it. But we just connected a whole bunch of wires so that all these would be activated when we flip the switch. But on the way there, we have a one second timer so that every second it reactivates, which it should spawn in the mob again. So it's a little dangerous. You have spawning in insanely large amounts of mobs, but I think we should be okay. There were certain statues I couldn't use like the Wraith because he can go through walls, which obviously we do not want. I also threw some things in there that we're probably never going to want to kill. There's like a seagull statue and some frogs but i mean the more the merrier we're just gonna indulge in this chaos so if i flip this stop make it stop okay that's insane so it'll just keep spawning them in i flip the switch back off but look at how cool you can be in this game if you like understand how wires work now of course the wasps and the eyeballs are a bit of a problem i'm probably gonna get rid of those guys in there but they drop loot too which is really really overpowered i could just sit here for hours okay we don't want the hornets and we don't want the eyes yeah expanding the base like this is really fun it's pretty easy too it's so cool how easy it is to do in terraria I like that, and that's going to free up a lot of room inside of the house too for us to build more storage, so we're going to do that. We're just making all the home improvements today. Place under construction, everyone move. I think that looks pretty nifty right there. There we go, we got a few more houses now. Alright guys, I think we did pretty good for our first uh, time going in on hard mode. We made a lot of obvious home improvements. Looks like we got a lot more bosses we gotta fight, none of them of which we are strong enough to defeat, so I'm gonna have to do some more research, you know me. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode.